sculpture of its nature is about changing the world because it's about putting things into it that weren't there before. And to that little bit of the world, the setting of the world is changed. space feels like. You may think that <laughs> it's, a, it's a fundamentally narcissistic, terrible project. What on earth am I doing? But I hope that it's other things as well. When people ask me, what is this place? On the one hand, it's a community. It's a community of people that like making things. Sometimes it's a bit like a hospital. Sometimes it's a bit like a play school. Sometimes institution for the mentally infirm. It has to be a place that is in the world, but somehow not of it. The history of the body in sculpture that probably starts with the brothers Pisano in Pisa in the 14th century is the history of putting the body to work, telling story, Bible stories, political stories, stories about power. I have no interest either in the idealized body or in the body used as an actor in a narrative. I'm interested in the body as a place, the place that we all live. What is that space that we inhabit when we close our eyes? That seemingly allows us infinite extension. It's the same as gazing out into the cosmos in the night sky. Perfect. I'm not so stable. It's all right, it's all right. The change that has happened very rapidly in the last really nine months is that we're now making scans directly from life. And it's just much more immediate. Instead of it taking one and a half hours to mould, we can do it in a matter of minutes and get the information back and then build that into a working process. 
you want the fist uh, connected to the head? Yeah, that would be fine. I, I think, yeah, maybe okay. under the chin might be quite helpful, actually. Like that? Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Okay. Ready? Okay. Yeah. These are not, in my view, self-portraits. My body is just my raw material. And um, we go to work with it um, as one would a piece of wood. This is the other one. Nice. That's nice. That's more. Yeah. It's more intro. More introverted. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, kind of gives a, gives a sense to the heart and the arms. I think that will work well in blocks. Yeah. It's got a nice shiver about it, hasn't it? I mean, it really yeah. does have a shiver. So this is the, this is this pose. Yeah. This is a similar. It does work that one. Issue, but I I think it's really good. <clears throat> this is odd. Uh, just the the hand uh, position is just very difficult to, to get. I couldn't really... <coughs> well, the funny thing is it looks like this, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, and, and it's not that it's at not, all. It's... But it's difficult to have a chest sort of mm. block and, you know, have any description in, in hands and forearms and stuff. Yeah, this is the machine that we use to catch the shadow, to make the impression, to take the trace, you know, this is the fingerprint that is actually a body print that is captured by bits and bytes and zeros and ones. We're using the ability of this technology to, to capture a fugitive moment of lived time and use that shadow, that dark space, that, in a way, very impermanent thing as the basis for making something that is adamantine, that resists time, that has presence. I don't know quite why I put on this apron, but I, I've always put it on when I'm painting, drawing. So I do it as a sort of ritual more than... I mean, sometimes it can get messy, but this is very, isn't it? This isn't messy work, this is quiet. It's nice to be able to have a place where you can be still. I 
I lost my first studio in 1987 in the Great Wind. A 30-foot high wall crushed it, uh, and I lost about a year and a half's work. So this is the third studio I've made, and it's the best. But each of them were an attempt in a different way to create the space, the light, and the silence necessary for, for making art. And I, I think there is a part of me that is indelibly touched or formed by that idea of mixture of silent contemplation, active work, and then some kind of labour that is between the two. This end of the building, I think, is um, the necessary balance, I think, to, the, to the, all the pragmatism. I mean, we, we can hear it, can't we? We can hear the grinders, we can hear... Yesterday we could hear the, the clinking as of church bells, but actually it was Jamie and his... You know, and we can hear the front door like that um, going. So we're not... We're not as it were, totally isolated. But I mean, on the whole, people know when I'm down this end that it's... Um, well, here we go, see? It's quite private. Hey! Fantastic! Hello. How are you? I'm Tony. You're looking so well. Yeah, really? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so nice to see you. Uh, Sway is an old friend from... <laughs> well, from... Uh, He's been, he's been working in Beijing and teaching in the academy there, and uh, he, yeah, he has similar uh, concerns about the body and about space. And um, You should see, I, I'm doing my own expansions. I want, yeah. to, I want to show you, I want to show you. Because they're not, they're not strictly speaking, the same as yours. Will but you be coming back up, upstairs yeah. to have coffee? Oh, yeah, maybe we have coffee up there, yeah, that's okay. fine. You leave that there, it's fine. Pierre, can we show them the incremental expansion? Yeah, you know the, the way it works? Yeah, the way it works. Okay, as an example. The, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, so this was, a, for me, a meditation on the idea of cosmic expansion. You know, the dimension of space itself is expanding. So as a result of the Big Bang, 13.7 mm -hmm. uh, billion years ago, the, the scale of space is and it's increasing the whole time. I, mean, I like that idea that mm -hmm. if we make objects, the context of this object is always infinitely expanding. Here is the scan, then we translate it into this mesh, and then that mesh is then translated into this loose constellation of forms. The centroid of each of these masses remains absolutely fixed, even though their space, as it were, is expanding. And this, that idea of the 